Good evening and thanks for joining us. We're following new developments in the process of bringing a casino to Terre Haute. Terre Haute City Council has unanimously voted to approve a rezoning to allow the casino to move to the city's east side. News 10's Blake Dollier was at that meeting. He joins us now live in the studio with details on when we could see ground broken. Patrice Rondrell, now that the casino rezoning has unanimously passed City Council, the Churchill Downs Casino is moving to Terre Haute's east side. But there are a few things that will need to happen first. Those are getting a height variance through the city and approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. They'll also need approval from the Indiana Gaming Commission on the new location and the Board of Zoning Appeals. While there's still some work to go, Churchill Downs is breathing a sigh of relief. They hope to get approval for the casino's height by May and break ground shortly after. Churchill Downs Senior Vice President of Real Estate Development Ryan Jordan says the casino expects to be open by late 2023. Very excited, uh, very happy that the council approved our rezoning request. Uh, we're super excited to be in Terre Haute. We think we have a terrific site. The casino is something Terre Haute City Council President Cheryl Loudermilk says she's wanted to bring to town for quite some time. For years, I've always thought we could use a casino here. Um, you know, I think it's, it's great for our community. Um, I think we have a lot of opportunities to build off the casino coming here. Loudermilk says the casino is now out of City Council's hands. She says she feels a sense of relief having passed the rezoning ordinance and being able to move the casino out east. It's kind of like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now. You know, we've, we've passed these processes, so hopefully there won't be too many more hoops to jump through. Like Loudermilk, Jordan says he and Churchill Downs are ready to begin building. We can't wait to get started to break ground, uh, to put some of those construction jobs into place. Uh, even more excited when we get to open in late 2023. Again, Churchill Downs hopes to open by the end of next year. President Loudermilk also says she's even more excited to bring the casino to the city's east side. Patrice Rondrell, back to you. 